In this random video test, we're gonna be seeing if the T3 is a worthy vlogging camera while testing out the autofocus with the XF 10 to 24. I'm gonna try and shoot all this handheld, just, you know, very quick random test that I'll, well, I'd have, <laughs> I'm gonna throw up for you guys to see. And no real editing. I've switched to ProNeg High, 4K, 24 frames per second, wide open, so F4, and a fairly dull looking day. Let's crack on. If you're, just looking for a vlogging camera and you don't already own a Fujifilm T3 or any Fujifilm camera, this is probably not the camera for you. There are cheaper, more straightforward and more practical alternatives for vlogging. This is not it, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. But there are several advantages if you already own a Fuji T3 or are in this system already. And that's what I wanna talk about while randomly holding this thing and testing it. Conditions are far from perfect and I think that's how it works for those vloggers out there that do pieces to camera on a daily basis. Now I don't do that but there are certain things that I expect from a camera that I would use for vlogging. The main obvious big <laughs> reason why you don't really want the T3 as a vlogging camera is the lack of flip out screen but the autofocus seems to for the most part, negate that. Now you can't frame yourself, you can't do all those things on the fly that you can with a flip around screen like the T100 has, but the T100 doesn't have the, frankly, the video capabilities that the T3 has. That flip around screen would be beautiful, but I think, and these tests are showing me that the autofocus is very reliable and if you use something as wide as a 10 to 24, maybe you can cope with that as long as you point the thing dead center, you should be okay. Go off a little bit, you'll probably lose yourself. But at 10 mil, arm held all the way out, not too bad at all. If you're a vlogger type, you know that the likes of Casey Neistat made the Gorillapod extra famous. You can put that on your camera ideally with a ball head which i do have but i didn't bring out and you can hold it further than i'm doing now you can see me arm in it but if i pop this on i can get extra <laughs> further away and that could be a nice thing and actually it just feels a lot more comfortable the t3 isn't the heaviest camera out there but as a day-to-day everyday carry vlog camera it might just get you down a bit the gorilla pod although it adds to it gives you a bit more of a comfortable ride what do you reckon one of the killer features other than what seems to be the winner for me the face detection is the audio you've got an external mic port let me show you my favorite vlogging camera at the moment let me do this quickly it absolutely lacks the mic port and I need to get out of here because it's tipping it down. Which reminds me, this T3 is weatherproof, which is a big deal for vloggers that really take it out to the extremes. I'm not sure if this 10 to 24 is, but frankly, neither am I. So I'm getting back in the car. Now, as I was saying before, we were rudely interrupted by the weather. This little beauty here, I really do love it for vlogging. It's small, compact, light, face detection is fantastic. The image quality is fine for me. Yeah, the T3 should smash it out the park for that. And the audio is clearly the big problem with the G7X2. Remember, the T3 has a host of video features, including 4K, easy to flick into, slow motion, frame rates, F-Log, Eterna, a whole bunch of cool stuff that can just make the creative vlogger have a lot more fun. Clearly there are smaller, cheaper, equally capable vlog cameras on the market and I'm sure you can mention some in the comments below. I've seen some great micro four thirds even drop to about 300 for the body, 400, 500 on a second hand market such as I think it's a Panasonic G80. 
that kind of thing. Now, I love my Fuji films for stills and the video has really stepped up and is beautiful. But if I was just starting out, there are definitely things that I love. For example, about this G7X2, for me, I'll say it again, I absolutely love this. It got away and I had to get it back. Even the older Micro Four Thirds cameras shooting 4K on a 16 megapixel sensor work an absolute treat. But if you've already got a T3, you know what? I think after trying it out with this 10 to 24, can't fault it at all. If you've got it, use it. If you're not sure, I wouldn't go to the T100, the XA5, even though they've got the screen, they've got the mic ports. The video is just not there for me right now. Now, you could argue that for a screen, you could pop an external monitor on top, but that's bulky. And for a daily vlogger, just a pain in the neck. For a piece to camera vlogger such as myself, you know, where I just do little bits and pieces here and there. I could use the monitor if I need to, but I wouldn't take it traveling with me. You do have the camera remote app, which I've got somewhere here. But as far as I can tell, it's still only shooting at 720p, which is absolutely useless. Fuji, sort it out. Camera remote should just trigger off the same quality file, please. That would make it so much easier. And also, I imagine, would bring more vloggers across to Fujifilm. Stop beeping. I think that's a fair place to stop, really. Video test, <sighs> gotta get back, check it out. So far, looking on the back of the screen, all seems cool. Let us know what you think in the comments below now that we've got the whole thing uploaded and we can check it out properly. As a vlog camera, we've gone through the points, a T3 superb, capable video camera, but is it practical? As a daily vlogger, should you get it first? I don't think it's really, it's not even out just to be a vlog camera, but I know a bunch of you might wanna use it, even if it's just for your family vlogs, your holiday stuff, a bit of fun. And I think, yeah, I think you can do it, definitely. You can be confident with your autofocus, confident with the audio, confident with the video quality. Thanks for bearing with my random tests. I really want to put this T3 through. It's just very <laughs> crazy paces, testing out a bunch of lenses, situations, simple stuff. What do you reckon? What do you want to see? Leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Loads more cool stuff to come soon.